to experiment with Howler. Now, Howler is the new version of Project Dog Waffle. Um, slightly different interface, some improvements, especially in speed, and a couple of new filters. So, a couple of things I'd like to show is uh, perhaps some painting and uh, some of the, the new filters. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at some of the presets here. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah, let's take the sidewalk chalk hand. That's kind of a interesting. That's basically a hand print loaded into the brush. Uh, I'm going to store that quickly. Let's go to the brush store menu. I'm going to use that to rotate the brush a little bit. Let's bring it, have the hand go upside and also change its color a little bit. Maybe to here doesn't actually matter uh, for this particular exercise. Let's just go with this. Um, perhaps one more. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's go here. Well, the nice thing about the architecture in Dog Waffle is that it runs as an ActiveX server, so if there's a problem with one of the plugins, and remember this is still the beta, if there's a problem with one of the plugins, uh, if the plugin crashes, well, it doesn't take down the whole program. The program runs in its own memory uh, address space. And so that's a nice side effect of running it as a um, ActiveX server. <coughs> the only thing that will go down if uh, there's a bug in that plugin is the plugin. All right, so one thing I want to do here is uh, paint around a little bit. And then I'm, I'm going to use this great new feature, uh, the stylize menu. There's a couple of options here, and one in particular, the lighting tool. This is a great tool to create uh, some awesome textures. You can basically move your light source around here. And uh, this, is, this is an example of a filter that's utilizing sort of a, a 3D pipeline that uh, Dan has put into the program. And uh, with that, you'll see more and more filters that uh, let you do some 3D stuff with it too. So let's say I want to do a little bit of a reddish light source or an orange light source there and bring it down close. There you go. Uh, so we have a nice little texture uh, of some sort created with that. Um, that's one thing you can do with it. And then the other thing is you could perhaps uh, map that on the inside walls of a tunnel that we're going to animate through. So first thing uh, I want to do for that is actually make it a square texture. I'm going to resample it right there. Let's make it for instance 512 by 512. There you go. And there's a couple, this is a new feature that was added in version 5 for the, the quality of the, this moving or the, the, this uh, resampling. Um, and perhaps we want to make it um, contiguous or, or seamless. So one thing I'll do is I'll capture that into the brush. It's now in the custom brush as you can see here, my current brush. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, make it seamless. And that's working on the brush. Um, you could perhaps bring it up like that. Or if you don't care about it, you can have a fairly small transition. And then actually use the buffer and keep the original size as we bring it back into the buffer or place uh, replace the buffer. So that one now is going to be seamless. And now I can say, let's go create an animation. And let's say we want that animation to last five seconds. There we go. Five seconds long. That'll be 360 frames. And one thing I'm gonna need is to turn this with the filter. There's a new filter, there's a group here called Animated. We've had this in version five. Since version five, there's an animated collection here. And one of them is the tunnel that was also introduced in version five. What I'm going to do is simply reduce a little bit of speed of that and now render that. So what it's doing is taking that texture and plastering it along the inside wall of the tunnel that we're flying through. And so it may look a little bit weird at first because as it's rendering, you see the old image replaced with the new one. But once it's done, and you can see the count up here, you probably have a few more hundred frames to go through. It's working on frame 140 right now there. Um, once it's done with that, we will see that we have created a nice little animation of a, basically a 3D tunnel that we can fly through. Couple more seconds. 